All right. All right. So, let's do this. Should be day one. Day nine. Why day nine? Can I restart? Is there a way to way to do that? want this. I don't know why. Okay, so I've got all of the it's the lowest quality stuff. I guess I could just die. That would work. Capture top moments. Says Google. All right. I want to start at the beginning. Don't want to start at level nine. Restart. Select day. Day one, please. There we go. All right, so we're going to be using the uh, Warbird Bronco just because it's awesome. Uh, it's probably my favorite plan. They just came out with a thing for it. Rouser. What's Rouser? Kind of. Was that burgundy-ish? Uh, Green Dragon's good. Sky Fox is too too typical. Um, let's be Canadian. We'll be Canadian. Uh, so micro missiles, pretty awesome. They're like a good uh, jack of all trades. Heavy Gun is one of my favorites. Heavy Rockets are just great. And a little IR thing to do uh, help with dogfights in the later levels. Hello, Noctis. Oh, Noctis. Nice. Hello. Alright. Do an aileron roll. That's a good trick. Uh, so it's basically just a roguelike. Uh, do missions. Um, get money for killing things. Uh, and then what I, my typical thing, especially in these early levels, is destroy all of the things first, and then do the mission, and then go home. Uh, up until late. Uh, day seven, and that's normally when I have to just uh, call it a day and start doing other things, because uh, the uh, enemies get a little bit tricky above that part. Um, yeah. This uh, early stuff is normally just farming. I think that just leaves the crown key. Farming for money to upgrade equipment. Uh, there are a couple modes to do, or view modes, like this the lock on mode, which is very tricky to actually aim with, in my opinion. I just generally stick with the uh, chase cam mode.
Fuck on. Come on. Okay. Just, just a couple more hits. Come on. There we go. Ah! ah! It's a schwalb. Schwalbs are annoying. Not as bad as the faults, especially when they get high level. That's what you see. IR ones. Alright, uh, I think that is everything. Yeah, it looks like everything. A barrel roll. I can do a barrel roll. Actually, that's probably an aileron roll. Uh, I think a barrel roll would be something more like this. Whee! Like you're inside of a barrel. Uh, I'm not an acrobatic pilot, so I don't know for sure, but I believe barrel rolls are supposed to have uh, continuous G forces across the entire uh, entire maneuver. It's all about balancing uh, back pressure with where in the roll you are. Uh, I guess I could go through the different uh, planes. Um, so this is the rogue. It's the initial plane. It's just kind of a medium thing. Uh, the Schwalbs are really maneuverable fast, but made of paper mache. Uh, Interceptor is sort of an intermediate one. And it has a focus on avionics versus the light fighter, which is a more... Uh, more generalized than the Interceptor. Um, bomber is the other flip side of that, which is more focused on uh, dumb payloads like rockets and bombs. And you have medium versions of all those things, and then the heavy versions of all of those things, and then the Warbird, um, which is just more durable. It's slower. Uh, these are two uh, workshop items that I did. I haven't actually played with them. Uh, so normally I, I used to play with the Interceptor because it's the fastest. I thought I might be able to outrun things, um, but it's just as fast as the fully upgraded Schwalb, or the Falk, right. It's just as fast as the fully upgraded Falk, so you can't actually upgrade or outrun any of the enemies. Uh, and it's made of paper mache, so it's just really undurable. Um, the Bronco is just nice. It's fast enough. It's maneuverable enough to be able to do dogfighting. Uh, and it is the one that I've gotten to the end of the easiest with. Uh, so I'm just going to upgrade my uh, micro-missiles and probably my rockets. Maybe my heavy gun if I can. It's just going to be right here. Yes. Another good thing about the Bronco is it has twice the weapons. So... Um, it's more heavily armored or armed, which seems like like if someone did that as a Steam Workshop item, it would feel a lot like cheating. But it's an official uh, official update, so I don't feel too bad. There are also other views like this, which is interesting in that it is almost completely difficult to uh, actually pilot in that way. Uh, this is supposed to be just like a nose one, but the nose of this plane is apparently a little bit farther forward on the camera than the other planes. Uh, so it just looks weird. That's probably enough. Uh, shooting the engines is the only way to take out these carriers. Falk. It's just a, it's a baby Falk. It's not that difficult. Ooh, Sam. Sam's are not good. Get rid of that. Frigates are very maneuverable.
Uh, the buildings that are on the ground actually uh, affect the type of enemies that spawn out of various spawn structures. So the, the carrier I shot down will spawn enemy planes. Uh, aerodromes will also spawn enemy planes. Um, and the quality and type of aircraft that spawn from them are determined by the ground structures. Uh, which is kind of clever. Uh, so at the harder levels, generally my thing is to just rush for anything that spawns aircraft, like aerodromes or carriers, and then deal with all the stuff on the ground. Um, this infrared missile is, you have to fire from behind, so like right now I'm within range, but since I'm not behind him, it won't lock until I get behind him, and then they're just gone. And again, normally, for any other plane except for the Bronco, it would only fire one missile at a time, but instead, I got two. really handy for the uh, for a plane like this because it doesn't uh, it doesn't have the speed and it doesn't have the avionic capabilities of dealing with um, dealing with the harder tougher enemies so normally you'd have to spend two uh, uh, two missiles to take down some of these enemies but I can just fire one Music and art remind me of Mega Man Legends 2. I have not played any Mega Man. Egg Mega Man. I have not played any Mega Man. Not the Dreamworks though. Different thing. And yes, we do have into the demo. It just takes a, a delayed response, like. I can fire all of the rockets all at once, but then I can only fire as fast as they spawn. Uh, so it kind of encourages you, especially for long strafing runs, to uh, switch weapons. So normally what I'll do is I'll use the guided micro-rockets for uh, taking out fences, like this AA gun, and then the dumb, uh, dumb fire stuff to take out other things. I haven't tried, but I believe you can crash into your own carrier. And coming from a pilot, landing works exactly like this. You just go over the uh, uh, over the runway, press a button, and the plane just gently uh, settles to the ground. Uh, I could upgrade all of my stuff. There are a lot of weapons to choose from, by the way. Uh, but I think I'm going to upgrade my plane. I'm going to upgrade it all the way. More speed, more maneuverability, more durability. Um, quick rundown. Uh, never used the aft launch micro missiles. Don't know how it works. Or the tail mounted gun. Uh, assuming that aeroburst is just a burst of speed, works fine. Micro bombs are fun. Uh, the issue with bombs is their targeting reticle is, makes it really easy for me to crash into the ocean when I try to use them. Uh, all of the bombs are like that, so I tend to stay away from them. They are fun to use, though. Uh, Huacha is... it feels underpowered. Uh, Anti-vehicle is very specialized. It can only be fired at vehicles, which is unfortunate because there aren't that many of them. and It it's, doesn't make sense to use up an entire weapon slot to just be able to shoot vehicles. 
uh, ground vehicles specifically. Uh, Semi-active air-to-air means that you have to hold the track or hold your reticle over them for the duration of the uh, flight versus fire and for, um, forget missiles. Uh, I haven't actually used the meteor, so I don't know what it's like or what its advantages are. Um, uh, the Merv is uh, sort of similar. It just splits off into a bunch of different things, and it feels even weaker than the Huacha. Um, longbow is fun. It's semi-active, but it's a range of 2,000 meters, so it's it's like a sniper, and it's so much fun to see the missiles um, fly and intercept the targets. Um, Javelin is just a slightly medium or range version. Uh, these are the two pursuit missiles. I can only fit the Diamondback, but the Cobra is just like the Diamondback, just a little bit more powerful, a little bit longer range, and a little bit faster. Torpedo, it's really slow and hard to aim, but it does a lot of damage. No more damage than a full road, uh, launch of uh, heavy rockets, though, so I tend not to use it. Uh, I don't think the Kunai was very good. Flat cannon I've not used. Uh, the, the auto cannon was surprisingly underwhelming just because of how slow it fires. So you have to really aim your shots or lead your shots. Um, I use the heavy cannon usually. The turbo gun is just a faster, lighter damage uh, machine gun. Haven't used micro rockets because I figured if I'm going to use micro something, I'd want something that has uh, tracking. I guess I could swap out my micro missiles for micro rockets and then get a uh, slightly better tracker on my anti-air stuff, but then it wouldn't be as good for like shooting anti-aircraft guns. Um, there are a bunch of different types of micro missiles. So the heavy ones are slower but more damage. The swarms are faster; they reload really quickly. Uh, the turbos are longer range and faster, but you don't get any more of them as you get up upgraded. So it's basically just, uh, you know, trade and trade. I do like flying. That's why I do it for career. Yes, it's suddenly loud. I don't know why it does that during loading screens. It just gets very loud all of a sudden. Alright, so it looks like we have two carriers at least. And then whatever's on the ground. Spray those. There's a Falk. There's probably multiple Falks. And you're going away from me. So take that. Great. Alright. Forget that the, uh... Oh, goodness gracious. Come on. Just want to destroy a carrier. Alright. Let's get around to the other side. Nope. Nope. There we go. Alright, you want something at me. Drones. So the fact that they're launching drones means I feel like they don't have uh, like, uh, very many structures on the ground, which makes sense. Uh, we're still pretty hard early on. Let's get above the clouds. Radars help uh, ground-based defenses to track you. So if you take out all of the radars, then 
uh, you'll get more time to do strafing runs on um, like AA guns and flat cannons and all that sort of stuff before they start shooting at you, which is very handy. go. Get that out. Ouch. Alright. I'm being shot at. Plants, I believe, power the uh, the ground defenses. So if you take those out, they'll I think turn slower, like turn the track you slower. So you, again, you get more time to save them. Uh, it's good to take those out as well. Not seeing those guns. I need to fix this. It's just one. Might be two. Alright. You can stall. But if you like point up in this guy and slow down. Presumably. Can this plane not stall? Of course I say that. This plane apparently cannot stall. Okay. Other planes can stall. That. Uh, circle around, take out the frigate. The reason I tend to use guns for those is the micro missiles generally don't have enough damage to do it in one salvo, and the rockets uh, fire too slowly to uh, be aimed reliably. And because the ships can turn on a dime, it makes it really hard to weaken target. If they had a little bit more inertia to them, the ships, then it would be a lot easier to shoot with rockets. or something else, something bigger. Alright, I think now it is just the uh, mission. Flying away from me. Which is good if they fly away from me. Nope, they're coming back for me. Not quite enough to do full damage. That's fine. How many does it take? Two. It can only take one. Uh, I am talking to uh, the three people, yes. Which is fine. I don't mind talking to three people. Normally I only talk to myself. <laughs> so three is an improvement. Uh, 
Uh, also, since the streams are up for um, up on my channel after I stream, then whoever watches it after, I'm also talking to them. So, hello, future people. Alright, so I should be able to max upgrade all of my stuff at this point. Oh, except for I need the longbow. Uh, or the, the diamond bag upgraded. So there's 2,000 more. I'll be fully upgraded. Um, I would technically could just make a beeline for the objective, turn around and come back, but I do want to store up some money because I believe... Let's say I've played this for uh, 20 hours now. Um, that you can spend money to uh, re-land at the um, at your carrier before your objectives are done to repair and rearm and even, if you so desire, get a second or get a new loadout. Goodness gracious. Ah, it's two, two faults. And a schwab, of course. Yeah, they can dodge micro missiles, which is annoying. So it's good to have uh, a dedicated anti air missile. Oh, that was close. And immediately just get shot. Thankfully, this thing is a very durable aircraft. Badgers are the single uh, ground-based vehicle defense that exists. So that one missile that's just a uh, that can only be a targeted towards ground vehicles that's basically your anti-badger thing which is why I don't use it because micro-missiles work just as well alright so we've got some rigs over there got more stuff Ooh have you, which I already destroyed the thing on. That was, yep. Just took a missile to the face. That is the difficult thing when there are a lot of targets. Because uh, you can only really press a button to cycle targets that are close to your reticle. So getting a lock on on the proper target is tricky in certain circumstances. Actually, I think this last few. Last you. Uh, uh, that was a disaster. I have at times spiraled myself, like, done that right into the ground when I'm trying to dodge something. Okay, so you're still chasing me. Oh my gosh. Alright. That was a time for. Uh, that was a time for flares if I've ever seen it. Uh, have a limited number of flares, they do not run out, so I only have six left. Take that schwalb. That's the annoying thing about schwalbs. They are paper mache, but they can 
dodge like that. Falks can dodge too. That's just rarer than the Schwalbs. Yeah, three or six six missiles. A little bit overkill for that. And I forgot to take out that aerodrome. So clearly. That's the benefit of fire and forget. If that were a semi-active, I'd have had to continue pointing it at the uh, at the target until the missile landed. All right. Let's see it tracking towards me. Not managed to kill. Oh goodness, there are a lot of a lot of badges. Luckily, they only take one micro missile each. I did not mean to press B there. All right, the reinforcements, drone M. See, normally if I had the uh, the long range one, I could just turn around, shoot it. Uh, watch the fireworks because it's only it's semi-active, so I have to watch the fireworks. Uh, and then go on with my day. What am I doing? I'm gonna destroy this. Uh, tried to dodge too too late, or too early. Uh, once again, this plane is tank. So I'm not too worried about getting hit. Uh, the planes I normally fly can take like only four or five missiles tops. Um, this one you can see I can take like 20. All right. So last things left are these Zulus. Can't remember what they are, but they might take a few of these. Yeah, they look kind of heavy. It's not as bad as the, uh, I don't know, I forget. There's one of them that's just the worst, super, super heavy plane that takes such punishment. Uh, yep, it takes all three. Good. That's good to know. All right. So, just, uh, keep them with guns. They really only do because they don't dog fight. They don't try to dodge. How is the sound balance, by the way, like music versus my voice versus the game sound effects? Because I am bad at looking at bars and knowing what sounds good. Alright, on to the second island. Operation Awesome Vulture. Uh, I can upgrade this one last time and just go for it. So this is starting to get into the realm where they're going to start sending uh, veterans and aces after me. So veterans are the plane upgraded once. Uh, I believe plane and equipment. That would make sense. And the aces are plane and equipment upgraded twice. So they're actually pretty dangerous, especially the uh, Falk aces. Those are the uh, those are the worst. And then in the third island, we'll see, start to see the higher level planes as well. Um, so we'll get like dragons. We'll get uh, I believe rogues start appearing in the second place, uh, along with the medium stuff. And then the uh, last one we get heavy interceptors, heavy medium fighters. All that sort of stuff. Uh, oh, and now we get frigates. Frigates not as bad as the uh, not as bad as the hovercraft that we'll get later on. Drone, drone, drone M. 
thousand demons there, though. I'm gonna do some. Alright. Let's steal from this guy. Oh, that was a stream. Uh, or a sand burst, okay. Not a sand stream, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we also get the variants of ground aircraft, or ground defenses. So the bursts, a fire in a big burst. Um, it's really the sands that are dangerous. The uh, flak bursts are really annoying. Um, ah, I just got hit by guns. That's the first time this happened to me in a long time. Um, and then the streams, which I believe are going to be introduced in the next island, are even worse, and they just fire a constant stream. Uh, so the flak streams are just the worst. They're my least favorite. That is what it looks like when you hit a plane. Goodness gracious. Okay. Need to go. Need to not exist anymore. Ooh, Vector. Okay, so that's a um, that's a medium medium aircraft. I'm just gonna make sure that that doesn't even survive. Whew, that was an adventure. And you need to not exist anymore. the hovers. I lied. They apparently do exist here. So they're like a mixture of the corvettes and the cutters and the frigates. The frigates are stationary, but they have a thousand guns. Uh, the cutters are maneuverable, but only have like one gun. Uh, the hovers are maneuverable and have a thousand guns. Well, they have two. Okay. You... Okay, it's also dangerous to stay in um, stay in one area for a time because then the guns start pointing at you. Ouch. Uh, the plane's front with you looks sounds like a mosquito though. The uh, propeller. That is that is a very wonderful way of saying propeller, by the way. Coming from. I feel like I'm missing a thing that spawns them. Also, you really need to stop existing, so. Please do not more existing, thank you. Okay, am I? Yes, I am. It's right there. It's an aerodrome. That's where I, all of these planes are going to go. There we go. Uh, so now I am once again surrounded. Those, none of those are there. All of them. Are there. Okay. It's a thousand condors and even more planes over here. Good. Actually, I think I have enough money. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna start key lining for the uh, targets now. Uh, sometimes these things have escorts, which is really annoying because the escorts would keep uh, getting refilled by the ground based stuff. Towards me so I can't 
gonna use those anyway. So I am as upgraded as I'm actually going to get uh, for this run. So it's just going to get more and more difficult from now on until the boss, which I have yet to actually beat. Will this run be the run that I beat the boss? Or will I have to go work before then? Or will I die in a really dumb way before then? I don't know. Should have switched out for the uh, longbow. Oh, right. I can't actually fit the longbow on this plane. So I should not have switched out for the longbow. Alright. This thing is right here, so I have to go. and a Kalax. Griffin, I believe, is the largest plane. Uh, I don't know if I can actually fly a Griffin. So I think it's more of a... Uh, it's all this. Yeah. There we go. I have to take care of that swamp, though. Because otherwise it's going to take care of enough away, hopefully. Uh, there is that Falk that is not far enough away. I believe they, yeah, they can outrun me for sure. Can I reach the carrier in time? The answer is yes. Aha! See ya, Noctis. Seven, get six condors. like those other condors on the other side of these two carriers. Okay. Clearly, I've drawn... Unwanted attention. Aces already? No. No aces, please. Four for four. Oh, those are going to be annoying to deal with. Hopefully, I don't have to. Uh, I have to fight through clusters of planes to get to the uh, target. Definitely going to have to deal with those three soon. Probably could just tank it actually. Never tried that in this plane. 
because they're faster than me. So I never, I feel like they can just stay on my tail and fire missiles forever. You know what? Go away, please. Oh, you're an ace. And a rogue? Come on. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's enough. No one else is following me. There's that guy. Uh, but he's far away, so I don't care. go in 10 minutes. I didn't even see what my objective was. Goodness, I have a lot of carriers to deal with. Okay. This is going to be a headache to destroy you. And you. So it make actually lined up. Definitely launch that way. Good thing. This thing. Scoop around. These two. Stuff I don't need to worry about, but I do need to worry about you. Especially since you're an ace, mom be in front of me. Good. I'll give you three. Gosh, so many of them. That is a lot of planes. Alrighty. There's two more. Yeah, that is... Whew. Okay. Ouch. Yep. That's not going to be enough for that vector. If it even hits him. Chase you down. Deal with you first. Alright. Being chased by a schwab. Wow. Being chased by three schwabs and a vector. That was genius of me. That was also genius of me. Alright. Vector now. And a vector. Enough. That was not enough. I don't need to deal with you. You're faster than me. Alright. Oh. We still have a mission. Turn home safe and sound. No one's chasing me. Does not appear to me. I 
And yes, of course I lined myself up with the uh, the landing runway. Day nine, island three. Two freighters. I believe these are stationary. I hope they are. I have to go in seven minutes. Probably not going to be able to do the boss, even if I get there. That is a lot of planes around this freighter. They're all going to start shooting. Oh good, flak. That's exactly what I need. Oh, Alright. Take out this vector. Draken is the uh, heavy medium plane. That's a that was an AA stream, I believe. All right, let's uh could have killed that aerodrome. Yep, I'm just gonna do that. All right. Oh goodness gracious! All right. Freighter is definitely not stationary. Ouch! That was a that was a lot of damage. Just gonna flares. More flares. All right. Definitely gonna need to deal with these guys. Ouch. So many dragons. <laughs> they are tanks of airplanes, but they're very, very Im not maneuverable. So they can't dogfight. Like what I'm doing now, where I'm just like spinning around, getting behind them. It's very difficult to do that in, in a dragon. Otherwise, it's a fun plane to fly just because it's so big and it has a lot of uh, room for missiles and stuff. I'm really failing with this track tracking ability. Yeah, this should probably be my last one. Might be able to do one more. Depends on what the uh, mission is. I need to get ready for work. Training in, in uh, instrument procedures. Yay! Get to teach someone about landing when you can't see what you're doing. Lots of fun. Alright. 
this was fun. I got to day nine, which is where I started. But if I started, I didn't have uh, money. Um, yeah, do I still have the old loadout for my Draken? Uh, I might have tried the Orca at some point. That, yeah, that's definitely an Orca, or that's something that I've put together. The Merv, the long range. Uh, Draken, I use the uh, anti ground Merv, medium range rocket. This is a fun thing to shoot. Disappointing because it's so slow. Um, I don't think I've ever used the bomber. No. Uh, Sweatwing interceptor. I tended to do. Um, you know, I had two anti-air stuff because it's so focused on avionics that I couldn't fit an, an another anti-ground, so it kind of suffers in the anti-ground category. Uh, whereas the swingwing fighter, you know basically what I'm doing now, except for the long range instead of the intermediate range. Uh, I think I've done the vector. No, I have not used the vector. haven't used the condor or the any of these either. Uh, so yeah. Alright, that's it. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, if you have been. If you haven't been, I don't know how you're listening to this. Unless you got linked to the very end of the video. Anyway, see ya. Have a good day.